Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Lost in Translation. This time we're covering episode 4 of Digimon Ghost Game, The Doll's Manor. I'm May, and I'm joined by the lovely Quinn. Hi. And of course, the equally lovely Chloe. Hello. So, as we did not all cover episode 3 last week, due to stuff happening, I will now give Quinn and Chloe the podcast floor to discuss their thoughts for episode three. So what were your thoughts on episode three? Uh, I'll keep it pretty quick. Um, I liked it, but I did have, um, I did think that there was uh, quite a bit of dragging out of the, you know, trust me. Yes, I trust you. Okay, then trust me. I trust you. Okay. And just like, yeah, like that. <clears throat> uh, Hero could have been a little less involved in, in, uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, really? Release, really? you know, first episode. Yeah. Would have been nice if, uh, you know, we didn't have to be given uh, hero uh, Tai Chi syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Hero protagonist could maybe take a back seat ne- ne- every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That being said, I hope that he will. it was an okay episode overall. So. Yeah. Mm. See, I I liked that he didn't show up until like the last half, and it was really just it made sense that mm-hmm. he showed up because she's got to get the Digivice some way. I suppose, yeah. So like, I I, I fully believe that Kiyoshira is just gonna steal one. Like, yeah. I don't think it's going to be the same like case of Hero saying, "Okay, here's the vital bracelet. Now you can be the Digi Destined." I feel like Kiyoshira is going to steal it. So I'm looking forward to that. I I really hope that that's the case. I also can't wait for the inevitable reveal that uh, that what's his name with the talismans is our fourth ranger. That's Kiyoshira, yeah? Kiyoshira, yes. I think I'm terrible at names. (laughs) Yeah, he's he's the the one with the bandages on his hand. Mm Yeah. He's going to be the third ranger. He's he's my favorite. Wait, no. Yeah, the third third ranger. Oh, okay. Somehow I had him and... We were joking An additional person, anyhow. Mm-hmm. Oh, the friend? Brain's a little fried this week. Mm-hmm. If you it's like fine. Them. It's but, been a uh, long week. It has. But in any case, what were your uh, your ratings out of five for episode three? So, Quinn? I went with a four. Yep. And Chloe? I, too, am going with a four. I gave last week's also a four. All right. Well. So I think, so, so I guess we're in agreement. This is the first time we are all in harmony on our rating. Yeah, pre- I've been like the lowest ranking giver because for the first two episodes I gave fours both time. Yeah. But uh, yes. So what about favorite characters? Oh, it's got to be really. Yeah. See, I went with Angoramon just because I really think he's. I I like how Angoramon kind of just was following Ruri around because he liked her playing the piano, and I felt like that was mm. sweet. But Ruri it's... was definitely a, a good other choice. Yeah. It's sweet. I don't know. I I don't dislike Angoramon. He strikes me as a simp. Yeah, I wish he yeah, had a little but... more personality to him. I'm not sure we'll get there. Yeah. Um, I, th- I think we'll get there. Yeah. I'm looking but forward to it. Was not as much of a standout in the first episode. Yeah. No. But what about our... Uh, how does our ranking change with episode three? So I put episode three in third place. No, you know, well, not... No, actually in second place. Sorry, I just spoiled my my ranking for this week. But no, uh, he, it was... Uh, whoopsies. So it was episode two, top. Episode three, middle. Episode one, bottom. So it's in second place. Okay. I have it at the bottom and of wait, mine. Wait, oh, bottom of Quinn's mm-hmm. and Chloe? Bottom of mine just by virtue of it being... Uh, you know, I gave 4.5 to the other two. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. So overall, it's, I, I guess, at the like bottom. I it, but it was, yeah. you know, the worst of the three. Which, you know... They've all been very strong, so mm-hmm. if something yeah, has yeah. to be the worst of the strong episodes, that still means it's, what, at the top of the Adventure Colon rankings? Yeah. So th- so even though it's at the bottom, it's still yeah. at the top of our hearts. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I, I guess overall it ranks in the bottom then. Uh, our combined score would be... Yeah, it, it, it'd be at the bottom. But still, it's it's a good bottom. It's, oh, well. <laughs> it's you know, it's it's the bottom that you look at and you go, damn, that's a nice bottom. So it, it's one of those. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, it is. Do we have any? Yes, yes, it is. Do we have any final thoughts about episode three before we move on to this week's episode? No, oh, just the one. <laughs> just, just the one. <sighs> okay, and I, I have many, I have many thoughts, but they're also just one thoughts. It's a singular thought of many thoughts. But in any case, time <laughs> to talk about episode four. So for a rough synopsis before we dive into our discussion, it's Halloween and people are preparing, however people start disappearing. 
Hiro is helping Rui decorate, but a few of her friends start disappearing. Hiro acts like a decoy as the rest of the group split up and look for clues, and they try to lure out the Digimon that's causing this. Hiro gets kidnapped, but is rescued by Rui. Gammon evolves, but the group learned that Pumpkinmon was just lonely and wanted friends with the same face as him, and that's why he was carving people's faces up or something. But that's the episode. All right, so now that we've discussed last episode and the synopsis, let's discuss this episode. So what were our highlights this week? Oh, uh, gosh. Um, you know, for good or bad, I'll give him it was kind of spoopy. Yeah, it actually oh, this was, was like, pretty yeah. tense. This was, like, all the other episodes have kind of been scary. This one just took it and just, like, it, they just, it just went very much. It was intensely scary. It they was it honestly, like... Bam. It, <laughs> it it felt scarier than I probably think I've seen any kids show go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, it, it got a little real when we were dragging unconscious bodies down hallways. <laughs> and, you yeah, know, th- th- that was a little bit intense. Hunching over someone's face with a knife. Mm. But, Have like, I'm a big not? fan of that. <laughs> you haven't? No, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just too vanilla. I'm sorry. Yeah. They, they sure did a day. lot of reflecting on that knife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the animation again was just great in this episode, which it, I feel like yeah. uh-huh. it's it has it's been gone. Yeah. It's it's had more good animation than than Colin because as of this point, episode four of Colin, it just stopped being well animated. It was only like the first three episodes really that were incredible. Yep. But mm-hmm. this, this one looks budget. good, like like consistently good, and that's mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, I haven't seen anything I... that I would like criticize really about the. Uh, visuals yet. I mean, of course, both anything animated, you have a few, like, in-between frame shots that look a little bit weird, and yeah. the far-off facial expressions are just, like, two dots for eyes and a mouth, but you can't really criticise that, because how, how else are you going to draw a face from, yeah, far, from away? far away? Yeah. I like that, There's... that her friends yep. are uh, seven and adorable. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. Not way. Excellent. <laughs> it's funny. Um... I got it. I got it. But I, I also quite liked um, in the beginning when Shikamaru, a.k.a. Uh, Trans Rika, got iced. Um, like, oh, even yeah. the, the sort of, like, visual distortion around the edges when he was, like, looking at the uh, at the Pumpmon dolls or whatever it was exactly. Yeah. I'm actually not sure if those were Pumpmon or just... I think, no, they're just dolls. Well, they but were way, like, being you know, getting the possessed. Getting a bit of the, you know, the, the feel of the moment, the little mm-hmm. panicky, the tunnel vision, literally. Yeah. yeah. I, mm. I just thought it was a really nice touch. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was a very strong cold open. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it it had such, like, a great, creepy atmosphere. Yeah. Like, it did a good job of setting that atmosphere. They Atmos- realized how terrifying fear. schools are in the dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or in the light, or, or the light. anywhere when there's pumpkins, because those pumpkins were actually terrifying. Yeah. yeah. So, like, so- side note, so Australia doesn't celebrate Halloween, right? And it's obviously not spring here because we're in the Southern Hemisphere. So, um, lately shops have been trying to make Halloween a thing. Like, mm-hmm. it's always been kind of like trying I mean, Halloween to... Halloween is the like, best the te- holiday, so you should. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should, but it never was a thing when I was a kid. Like, it was just the, t- the Cartoon Network would run, like, a Scooby-Doo marathon. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the shops might have, like, um, chocolates at, like, half price. But no- but n- it wasn't really a thing. But in the last few years, the shops have been trying to really make it a thing. But by, like, selling Halloween decorations, like, you know, mm-hmm. um, who could forget the Halloween tree, the Halloween wreath, and the Halloween gingerbread house. I'm not even making that up, oh, no. uh, by the way. Oh, no. But also... Um, I'll have you know that it is obviously spring at the moment. It's actually getting quite warm. And pumpkins are actually an autumn uh, kind of thing. That It's not in season at the moment. Mm. So while you can still get pumpkins, you yes, know, they're not as them. impressive. Yeah. So uh, the things that we do have is we have watermelons. <gasps> and oh, we have fine. pineapples. Yeah. Some people are allergic to gourd, uh, gourds anyway. Yeah, you could probably but make some pretty cool, spoopy uh, watermelons. Yeah, I, I actually but there I was knew a... some people who carved watermelons because she was allergic to pumpkins. Sick. Okay, that is pretty cool. But the pineapples got me because I kind of <laughs> like they had like it, it was pineapples just for carving, and I was like, I I want to make a rookie one. I of these. really want to see a rookie. A rookie. Yeah, it would uh, be real good. So yeah, just a, that that was just a side point of Australians don't quite know what Halloween is because the Halloween gingerbread house, but also I really want to carve a pineapple. Uh, oh, so hey, so that's we fun. Have to buy candy. 
That's right. Anyhow, I'll have to do that tomorrow. I live in an apartment, so I don't generally have to deal with that. <laughs> I wish we had Halloween. I'm just gonna... Well, it's, it's Halloween tonight. Like, it's, it's it's Halloween day at the moment, but I, I just, maybe we'll watch some scary movies. But in any case, this was pretty scary. I like this episode. Uh, I feel like it was... See, I really liked the Atmon Halloween episode, and I've been trying to work out whether or not I like this one more. This one was definitely scarier than the Atmon one because the oh, Atmon definitely. one was just like just general Atmon episode, but with a Halloween skin. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that was I one of my favorite. It was off the top of my head. Yeah, it was the I scope, would... the uh, Cameramon one, where uh, he yeah. shows up and they and I, they I do uh, like... they they do. Yep. I think I liked that episode pretty well. I I wish that uh, the the plot weirdness had ever been, ever been resolved, but you know. Mm. See. I, I that episode I'm pretty sure it was like number two or number one in the rankings, <laughs> but I I really liked how they did some like strategies. They they were kind of like okay, cameraman looks around the corner like this, and we have to like work out how to how to avoid the camera line of sight, and that I, was really cool. But I anyway, do enjoy I'm the ep- the early episodes where we have to care about strategy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which happens in every season, by the mm-hmm. way. Yep. But yeah, I'm trying to work out whether or not I like this one more. This one definitely feels more like a Halloween episode, but also every oh, yeah. episode of the season does. Yeah. Also true. Mm. You know, every every episode does, in fact, have an error ghost. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, another one of my highlights is that it's really nice to see Candlemon and Akakimon just hanging out. Like, it was nice that we got, like, they weren't all just Pumpkinmon possessing the dolls. It was also mm-hmm. other Digimon, too, that are kind of like Pumpkinmon's friends slash lackeys but then it also makes me question things like Pumpkinmon says he has no friends but he clearly has these Digimon following him around are they not his friends yeah that's I a fair not. question well he uh at least the subtitles that we watched were like specifying I made human friends at the end you know yeah but at the yeah. same time that it, it's kind of shitty to his Digimon friends but you yeah. might still consider him Digimon friends yeah, I'm just also still a little confused by the why did they need to have your face then if you you know what humans look like. But anyway, it see that's if we are we moving on to lowlights. Uh, if if we unless we don't have any other highlights. Um, I liked that Digimon's willing to amp it up and actually try to scare me a little bit. It yeah. was a good episode yeah. for that. Yeah, it was a little intense at times, but you know it was good. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this is. Like, I was almost scared. Like, it was almost like, I'm an adult and I'm scared of this. Like, I can, I yeah. think that I would be really scared. Like, I'd be happily scared of this as a kid. I wouldn't be like, you know, nightmares, don't want to watch this anymore. But I feel like, when I, when I was a kid and I first watched Digimon Adventure, like, the Bakemon episode and the Devimon introduction episode, like, scared me slightly as a kid. Maybe, yeah. So I, I that. feel like this is kind of, that this is probably scarier than that, but still not too much like it felt like it was still a good level of horror but probably almost over the line in terms of how scary it is yeah Mm -hmm. i still liked it though Mm -hmm. oh definitely Mm. so low lights times sure um so i i will say you know for all that it was a, a good scary episode the plot doesn't really hang together that well if you like glance at it we need to make friends but they need to be human friends but they need to have pumpkin faces for reasons, because we don't know that Halloween is just a thing people do as a celebration for reasons. Also, there's this really convenient, definitely not the AR field, to prevent us from <laughs> having to deal with consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, th- I thought of but I kind of like that idea, because it kind of does explain away collateral damage, and I'd much rather they have a vague area that they go to, rather than just, like, I don't necessarily hit the idea, but I, I wish that I had a little more um, background than while well, I hit the right sequence of buttons by accident. Which, by the way, was the exact mm-hmm. same sequence of buttons that uh, really pushed to make Angoramon invisible. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. it was slightly different, but... It looked almost the same from what I remember. Yeah. But, yeah I might just miss seeing, yeah. There's only two buttons, so there's not much you can do. Yeah. yeah it was like top, top, bottom. Ooh, ooh. I'll try that on mine to see if I... <laughs> I want to go to the digital world or the not digital world. I, I will say there was a little less product placement this week, and I did appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I, 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 th- th- this may surprise you, but the real life Digivice Vital Bracelet uh, toy does not send you to the Digicourt slash network slash AR field area. And see, Damn. that is some 
false advertising. That's Yo. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's what I wanted from my toy, to send me to the digital world. I mean, for real. yeah. Absolutely. I still do. Why, <laughs> why else would you buy things? Pretty if not much. to go to the digital world, uh, I I have yeah I I have a somewhat low light of I I I'm worried that I'm going to get bored of like every week it just being a Digimon shows up and then kind of either like is fought but doesn't lose in the battle and just and sort of just remains as a bad guy or just becomes gets convinced of the error of his ways and then becomes like a good guy. Because so we far we've either done one or the other. For for all that we're doing scary, we're definitely not seeming willing to do collateral damage or, like, committing to moving the plot forward very quickly at all. Yeah. But it's also episode four, and we have to kind of meet the characters before mm-hmm. we get into the plot. Like, it was the same for Tamers, where it followed very much just, like, we learn about this human, we learn how they met their Digimon partner, and then they get an evolution episode and maybe we get more interaction between the partner and the Digimon in the next episode. And Tamers, I feel feel like, has this kind of slow start. Like, it really doesn't get into the plot for, mm-hmm. I Which think, I 14 like. episodes. I'll be, I'll yeah. be real, Oh, I know. like that too. Uh, but I don't so far feel like I have enough connection to the characters to keep watching purely because this character drama is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I guess I, you know, need them to commit to one or the other. Either give me some more and better plot, or just any amount of real characterization. Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, mm-hmm. I have no idea who the bad guy is going to be. Like in other seasons of Digimon, except for I guess Tamers, you don't really know who the big bad is <laughs> for a while. Yeah. Like in in other in other seasons, it's just yeah. like episode one. This is the big bad, or the the disc one big bid. Yeah, big, there's bid at bad? least a disc big one bad. boss. Uh-huh. Yeah, except for in Atmon, where the final boss was revealed in episode one. Mm-hmm. Sure it was. Can, which is good. And, but then we have Tamers, where... But then we were also still look... surprised when the final boss was revealed. Yeah. Yeah, and it was the, the right one, the, the, was, the same one, so that's, exactly that, that's the good. Yeah. <laughs> there was zero drama, but we were supposed to pretend like there had been. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I liked it. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, yeah. It was campy. Mm. It was great. Yeah. And I guess I do have another thing that's not really much of a low light, but I did kind of expect and get a little bit disappointed that this wasn't an Angoramon evolution episode. Yeah, big same. Yep. But it it wasn't really a fighting episode either. It was, again, they so, kind of evolve and then decide not to fight. I, I think I would have compromised by just not having anybody evolve and have Angoramon just, you know, punch the Digimon long enough for, to do the thing and, and mm-hmm. make friends yeah. or whatever. But also, Pumpkinmon is a perfect level, and we can't just... Like, being children levels, we kind of can't just fight a perfect But we still do level. that anyway. Like, oh, yeah, they'll, they'll still we evolved do it anyway. to adult, did one punch, and then basically won, except actually it would be cried. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can't pick a, a messaging. Is violence not the answer? Is, is violence the answer most of the time? But... Them. Anyway. Sometimes. Viol- you can have a little violence as the answer as a treat. <laughs> violence is a but sometimes I'll, I'll... tool. Oh, no. Okay, oh, I, it's not a low light, but we got a Digimon Analyzer for the first... I feel like episode four feels like it was very surprising to get our first Analyzer, and I guess that's Angoramon's job, is he is mm. the Digimon Analyzer. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm sort of fine with that, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm, f- I'm fine with it. Yeah. The smart character isn't a human this time. Yeah, I'm actually pretty on board for that. Yeah, if that if that yeah maintains, that'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, because I mean, we kind of had that with Bokomon, but yeah, but I yeah, I think Junpei joy. was always in in Frontier was always shown as like he is the electric kid, he's the smart one, but also we hate him. Like <laughs> it's it's, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, what if Kosho were like kind of creepy? Mm. Yeah, and and fat, and he likes chocolate. That's his character. He brought lots of chocolate, and he makes friends by giving them chocolate because he no one likes him otherwise. Mm. Great message for kids. Yikes. But, yeah, I, I don't really have that many lowlights, just, like... I mean, I, I guess I can't really be too concerned about how the rest of the show is going to go, judging by just episode four. Yeah. I'm still kind yeah. of hopeful. I'm not concerned. But... It seems like they've got some ideas, but I, I think I could do it better if I were in charge, that's mm-hmm. all. <laughs> probably. Fair. But I'm, I'm, still, I'm still enjoying it as... Definitely. Probably... I'm more than I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it more because we've just finished Adventure Colon and then went on to the series and I'm enjoying this, 
or if I would be enjoying it if we hadn't been watching Adventure Colon or if Adventure Colon was a lot better than it was. Or at I least definitely I think I the it contrast more. is uh, a breath of fresh air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we have any other lowlights? Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a low light, but I am kind of curious. We've now had half of our final confrontations where we just talked it out and half where the bad guy got away, more or less, yeah? Sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. I just, it's, uh, yeah. I I guess I'm just kind of echoing the sentiment that you said earlier about uh, just having always the resolution just be, oh, it's just a miscommunication and they were trying to be friends the whole time or... uh, Yeah. We're doing very episodic in a way that I feel like you don't need to do in the age of streaming. Yeah. yeah. In the age of the the binge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's uh, yeah. yeah. That's all I got. Pretty much. So who were our favorite characters this time? Because mine was Hero, and I, I surprised myself by having the fact that I've not actually chosen Hero in any of these episodes, but I just felt like Hero was just really helpful, and it's nice having a character who's just friendly and helpful and like didn't try to sass Ruri at all like was just happy to be helping and it is nice having that you know quote-unquote goal kid being just a nice person to hang out with and just really friendly and helpful and also I haven't chosen Hero in any of the other episodes and (laughs) I just I really like him he's he's just like a Takato Haru kind of character who's just kind of friendly uh who who were who are y'all favorite characters in this episode yeah um i'm still thinking okay well um i actually wasn't really sure who i was going to say and i was thinking i was going to say really just kind of by default but now that you mention it i think i actually agree with air and i'm gonna go for hero i convinced yeah, it was, somebody uh, he was just a good boy this week he was yeah uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with Ruli, just because, uh, you know, somebody needs to, and she was also pretty good. Yeah, that's true. She was good. Uh, with, I like with how... With special mention yep. to Adorable. Moe. <laughs> to Adorable, to Moe, of course. Uh, I I liked that Ruri had discovered something about the Vital Bracelet that Hiro didn't know. I uh-huh. thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, like... I wish that she had discovered it and not been told it by some dude. Some digi dude, come on. Fair. Some digi dude. But, I mean, I, I just like that she had yeah. to be, yeah, no, I know, I see your point, but I, I like that but, she's I mean, it was things. nice that, that, yeah, we're teaching hero things. I just, you know, wish that she could just know things on in her own right sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What about rating? I I really like this episode. I really like, I really like horror. I'm being on, like, a, a horror binge at the moment, which, but... By which I means like I will watch like a scary movie movie and then my partner will be like, Hey, how about we watch Saw? And then we watch Saw and I'm just like, Oh, that was a movie. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give this episode a four point five just because I just really am enjoying the horror and it's probably too high, but I really like this episode and I also really like Pumpkin Mon and I really like Candlemon and I just I'm still too hopeful for this show and yeah, I gave it a I gave it a four point five. I right. liked it. Uh, Quinn, what are you giving it? Um, I think I'm gonna be a little predictable and go with a four here. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's fair. I was I was good. Look, the only reason I didn't give it a four is because I I think I did generally like this episode more than the other episodes, but I didn't. I think I've given fours for every other episode, so I was kind of like, yeah, I I'm gonna that. give it, it a four point five. It's okay, Air. I'll validate you. I was also gonna give it a four point five. Cool. We are very much just like more or less in agreement of this show so far. Like mm-hmm. we haven't given it any like. Well, I give it a two. Well, I give it a five. No, like we haven't yeah. done like huge jumps. We've all sort of been like pretty fairly. Uh, they're they're all pretty well yeah. clearly well made mm-hmm. so far, and you know which yeah, is good. good. Their quality. Please so continue far. like this. Yeah, please. Make me not give season. below a mm-hmm. four. We have say every well. That, that's fair. We do want things to be good. And I, I don't for, follow Digimon, but I saw something a while back about people being like, how many episodes of Ghost Game are there? So do we know how many episodes of Ghost Game there are? No. People, like, I've seen a lot that's of clickbait weird. on YouTube say 13, but yeah. no See, official that source. real short. I don't certainly believe that based on the, like, plot Pace, pacing yeah. we're doing. I mean, and the, I guess and moving faster the than evolutions. Batman. Yeah. So yeah, I I could maybe see if this one were a little shorter, but I'd be real surprised at that at anything shorter than twenty six. Yeah, I I don't think it's going to be a thirteen. I feel like that's just. I mean, every season of Digimon, as when it comes out, we have clickbait that says this season only confirmed for thirteen episodes. Uh, no, I see. I none. Got yeah. Debated. Except 
Yeah. Except for Young Hunters, which was 13 episodes, but it was also like a season three of yeah. one of the other seasons, it, so it was yeah, not really it was its not own really season. 13 episodes, it was... 70 something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, every season of Digimon gets its clickbait of like, this Digimon season X confirmed for 13 episodes. No, it hasn't been. There's no official news. Technically, 66 you- episodes wasn't even confirmed for Colin. It was just written somewhere and everyone said 66 and it turned out to be 67. So what it's probably not 13. Did, was- I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, at I, one what? point. Instead of episode 67 on the schedule, it said Digimon Adventure colon Atogumi after program. Oh. But then there was just a 67th episode exactly like all the others. And that one also had mm. clickbait of like, confirmed, another 50 episode season following colon. And yeah. I guess that's not too wrong, but it would definitely not be Ghost Game because it was specifically Digimon Adventure colon Atogumi. So, mm. yeah, it's... Yeah. It's a, it's a thing, but we don't know how many episodes this is, and okay. we'll probably find out soonish because I f- feel like we found out around this many episodes in for Colin, okay. but at the moment, no confirmed okay. uh, episode That's right. listing. I was curious. Yeah, appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, so, what about our ranking? Uh, surprising no one, and because I spoiled it at the start of the show, uh, this is my favorite episode so far because I really liked it. I like the spooky. I like a uh, do with the chasha. I like Halloween. I like <laughs> um, I like pumpkin mon. I was happy That's with fair. pumpkin mon existing. Uh, what, what about y'all? Where are we putting this episode? Uh, let's see. Ah, there we are. Um, okay, so I've currently had Mystery Museum at first place. Oh gosh, this is tough. I think I'm gonna yeah, put it, it gets in tough. second place now, moving episode down, episode one down by one for me. Okay, that's fair. And Quinn? I'm gonna put it in third place, uh, between two and three. Okie dokie. That, that's reasonable. I just, so we, we're, mm. this is like the, one of the first yeah. times we've actually been, except for episode three, we've been like different in our thoughts. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, mm-hmm. now for overall, I guess that means it's like in second or third place overall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. So yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to count because I haven't typed it into my spreadsheet because I don't want to do a clickety clack. Mm. That means I have to do numbers in my head and so 4.5 plus 4.5 equals 9, so plus yep. 4 equals yep. 13. Mm-hmm. So it is tied with episode 2. It, tied with episode 2. So I would assume that with the other rankings that means it's in second place then. There we are. I did some big brain maths of adding Woo! three small numbers together. <laughs> So yeah, so so that's pretty fair. Like I, I yeah. yeah, I'm I'm happy that so far we're enjoying this season. Yeah, it's been good. And then do we have any? Far. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. I'm glad that we haven't uh, done anything like oh this this was terrible. This is a one out of five. Like I'm glad we haven't jumped down terribly yeah. to the bottom of the ranking so soon. Which is I'm I'm still very hopeful, and I hope I'm not too hopeful. And I probably said hope far too much in this episode, but <laughs> Keep in any case. <laughs> All the time. Do we have any other Obviously, miscellaneous I'm thoughts? I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm so here for it. I'm very much here for this show so far. Pretty rad. I've been pretty here for it. It has indeed been radtastic. I thought we, we said radtacular, not radtastic. <laughs> you know, we're Wasn't it radtacular? Out. It probably was. Oh, I can you're do right. two things. You're right. You're right. It it's was rad- radtacular. It's radtastic and radtacular. <sighs> yeah. And I'm wearing that sweater or whatever. Like, I just had that song in my head <laughs> yeah. two weeks ago and it. I don't. I, now it's probably going to come back, and I've cursed myself. Oh gosh! Uh, but in any case, yeah, that that was a good Halloween spoop. Agreed. So now that we've discussed episode four, let's do some pondering. So, what are our thoughts about the series so far? We have any that we haven't already mentioned? I feel like I don't have a good grasp on why I care about the digital world. Like the hologram ghosts are showing something, up. Something heroes, dad. Yeah, I so far don't care that much about Hero's dad, but he's he's sure shown up from Mega Man EXE. <laughs> I'm getting a lane feel, but I guess having just actually playing through those Mega Man games now, the Battle Network ones, I'm getting right? like, yeah, I, I definitely get what you mean. Dr. Hikari. It's got such like a Digimon feel in general, those games. They really do. <laughs> mm. 
but yeah, I'm just I, I mentioned it a little bit in the low light that I do have the slightest tiniest concern that every episode it is like I know all lots of Digimon seasons have that sort of formula that they follow for a bunch of episodes until the plot starts. But I'm worried that it's just going to be I've exactly the same. I've already had a board of the formula, and I hope we move on soon. Yeah, I hope we defeat yeah, yeah, someone that's soon. That's what I mean. Now. Exactly. Like, actually defeat, like, the, I the actual I hope I know why we're battle. fighting soon. Yeah, like, I'm kind of... I'm kind of over, hey, you've been kidnapping humans and nearly killing them, but it's okay because it was just a misunderstanding. You know, at a certain point, I feel like you gotta just, like, put the foot down and say, like, hey, no, that's not okay, stop. Please stop killing people, thanks. And, exactly, and, like... And, blast of mother adorable has to be pretty traumatized at the end of this but <laughs> mm-hmm. we just go yeah but but you know some of it happened in the ar field thing so remember when hero's friend got aged to like a zillion and back mm-hmm. <laughs> neither does anyone else because i don't <laughs> But uh, yeah, I I mean, again, it's episode four, so I can't be too fearful that they're just going to do this for 70 yeah. episodes or something. No, no, but... But I, I think I the concern is there. Yeah. I'm ready to start raising yeah. the stakes a bit. Well, that brings us on to the next topic, which is what are our predictions for episode five, Divine Anger, which is definitely a title. Uh, we're getting Jellymon. Yeah, we're going to be a squid kid. Yeah. Which I'm excited for, like that. Yeah. This seems like it could be almost branching away from the formula, like just judging by what we're seeing, and yeah. it looks like Jellymon has been haunting him, which I've is kind of cool. Been on, yeah. I'm on board for whatever Jellymon's been been doing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Also, and I'm probably going to, about to mispronounce this, but Coadalmon is in the next episode, and that's exciting. It's a it's another armor evolution hmm. that has barely shown up much. So that's kind of cool. I thought it was going to be a Rochimon, but it turned yeah, out to I not be. Yeah, I kind of thought so too from the, the snakes, but okay, good mm. to know. D- different snake. We're not going to the same snake that we always do. If it's always a Rochimon whenever there's a snake. Snacks. <laughs> two snacks is a snack. But yeah, do we have any like any other predictions? It seems like it's going to be tied into mythology or religion or like the suspicions that people have like rather than just like general horror it from i can from what i can tell from that uh the preview well that sounds like it's gonna be a whole thing yeah i don't know i didn't really yeah. get much of a an impression yeah i from got the preview, nothing to be from the preview other because... than that it's gonna be jellymon um kiyoshiro episode yeah i'm excited i'm i'm, I'm excited for kiyoshiro to be my favorite that's my prediction that my favorite character is going to be I'm, kiyoshiro I'm unless very Je- jellymon is if it's not one of the two of them i desperately hope yeah. we're gonna learn what's under the bandages next week Oh god! It's Please nothing. Let it be I just think it's nothing. Stupid. Oh, it's it will be. It's, it's, it's nothing. a pimple. <laughs> no, it's going. It's going to be nothing because it's a chunbi. Yeah. It's just going to be like literally nothing. I mean, probably, but I hope it's funnier than that. I don't know. Maybe. What uh... if he has like yakuza tattoos? That'd be pretty chuny. I'd be so surprised, but also that would make him definitely my favorite, just because I like tattoos. Yeah, I really don't see that happening. Yeah. But... Oh yes, that's not happening. <laughs> We're gonna get it into a different kind of horror next week. <laughs> The yeah. horror of owing the mob. <laughs> Jeez, he's he's lost a finger already. Please yeah. save this boy. That's why he's wearing the bandages because mm. they contracted uh, Drachmon to erase his Collect. hand. Oh no! Just like Rulis. <laughs> but uh, yeah, do we have any other predictions? Not really, no. I'm gonna predict another four from at least one of us. That's, That's a very solid prediction. Yeah, that one. That is, likely. yeah, that is a solid. All right, everyone, so thanks for joining us this week, and you can join us next time for episode 5, Divine Anger. So the link dumps linked in the description, and so is our Redbubble. You can also contact us and stay updated. You can email us and send us spam at lostintransition at gmail.com, or you can comment on this episode on our website or on this episode on YouTube. You can also follow us at Transeshmon on Twitter, and you can follow us on Lost in Transeshmon on Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm at Digimon underscore Hero on TikTok, and you can also chat with us on Lost in Transeshmon Discord server. We'd appreciate it if you review us on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and any other podcast catcher that you use. And if I find the review, I'll read it out, but if not, please let me know and I'll seek it out so I can read it out. You can donate to our Patreon, which is linked in the description from as little as a dollar a month. And that gets you access to the Patreon-only areas of our Discord server, but there are higher levels more rewards, such as unedited and early episodes and more, so check that out. And thank you, of course, to our current supporters on Patreon, 
Joe, Stephen Reeves, who is Wild with 64 on Archive of Rome, Kardawashi, Chisai, who can follow on Twitter at Chisai236, Niabu, who says you should follow Chisai on Twitter at Chisai236, Carl, Lismet, who is a Lekman on Tumblr, Nicholas, Sam, Emery from Gone Will Hunting a Hunter Hunter Rewatch Podcast, Magnus, Lucas, Jason on 05, Patrick, Jason, Grey Tanuki, Jay, David, and Shelby. You can also make a one donation on PayPal, which can be found in the description. It's paypal.me slash Erdramon. You can also donate to me on my coffee account, ko-fi.com slash Erdra. And of course, thank you so much for Quinn and Chloe for joining me. Where can we find you this week? Mm, sleeping mostly. Mm-hmm. I occasionally do some and... genius level brain womaning around the server. But, mm, true, uh, true. You know, that's about all. And you can find me in your nearest uh, jack o' lantern that is also a pineapple. Mm. A what do you call like pineal lantern? Yeah, pineal lanterns. Jack o' pines. I don't know. <laughs> jack o' apples. But... <laughs> jack o' apples. That's perfect. But uh, yes, so you can find us in a jack o' apple. And uh, if you were a, if you were a jack and lantern fruit it's or vegetable autumn, that wasn't a pumpkin, <laughs> what would it be? I think I'd be a banana lantern. Mm. I'm trying to work out how that would work. What what fruit slash vegetable would you be if you were a jack o' lantern? Gosh. <laughs> Probably a potato because you are what you eat and all that. Oh, and I got potatoes all are good. The starch. Yeah. Uh, a pumpkin that's been genetically engineered to glow in the dark. Ooh. That's beautiful. That needs to happen. I'm working on but, it. But uh, <laughs> that's cool. In any case, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.